the state has regained its number one status in the country after years due to consistency in policy and continued reforms. Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis said on Friday at the India Economic Summit in the city. Speaking on new economy for New India, Mr. Fadnavis said, Maharashtra has been the growth engine of the country as it contributes 15% to the country's GDP. In the past it was lacking good governance and due to this it was put behind states like Gujarat, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu, which had progressed at a high pace. He added, now we have regained the position of numero uno in Maharashtra as again the most competitive state. The consistent policies of the state and the center has made this possible. Mr. Fadnavis said as per the Deutsche Bank report 50% of large infrastructure projects with over $20 million investment were undertaken in Maharashtra. He said, you can imagine what kind of infrastructure development we are undertaking. Mr. Fadnavis said global investors had once again reposed their faith in the state and received 47% of all FDI that came in last year. He said, in 2013-14, Maharashtra was number four in attracting FDI and now it has become no. One FDI attracted by the state has increased threefold in three years. This shows the faith of the global community in the state. It is a result of proper implementation of policies and a synergy between the center and the states. Earlier, Union Minister of State for Civil Aviation Jayant Sinha said India has to adopt the farm-to-frontier development model to become a middle-income country. Mr. Sinha said, the conventional model of farm-to-factory will not work in India as we cannot handle migration and put huge manufacturing capacities. So if we need to compete and win in the world we must go for farm-to-frontier model, which is excelling in the global market through the capabilities we already have become a global leader, he said the country was the biggest manufacturer in two-wheelers. We must leapfrog in such technologies and be globally competitive. The two-wheeler segment is India's frontier industry. We can do the same with electric two-wheelers, telecom financial services and low-cost airlines. We need a win in drone technology and be a global leader, Mr. Sinha said for India to grow to a $10 trillion economy, it has to have 7% GDP growth for the next 20 years. In the last 27 years, India has achieved 9% growth and considering this having 7% growth for next 20 years is entirely under our capability. In the last four years, we have done heavy lifting. When this government took over there were deep structural issues. So we had to undertake reforms, Suresh Prabhu, Union Minister for Commerce. We are preparing a vision which will be out in two months. Shorya Doval, director, India Foundation, which organized the event, said India was being reset in multiple dimensions in the last four years. Assam Chief Minister Sarvananda Sinawal attended the event.